How's it going guys? It's Matt or Matty C Trains here again. Uh, today we have a very special kind of video as you can tell by the music. And if you couldn't tell by the shirt, we're talking British railroading today. Um, a different niche here in the United States, but I think it's something worth talking about. Given how the fact that there's not that much eight, uh, O-scale related product out there for it outside of MTH. But I'm here today to tell you that that's not the case. There are some manufacturers out there that you can run that make three rail British trains or any kind of European train out there. And I think it's going to be a, a really informative video today. And you might learn a thing or two and might get yourself excited to want to start collecting these type of trains. So let's get started. All right, so here we are. This is the website for the first uh, manufacturer I want to showcase to you guys today. So this is ETS Trains' website. And I'm just going to scroll down and just showcase some of their engines. So this is one of their more basic starter set engines. You know, it's one of the first engines that they produce, and it's one of the most affordable, as you can see, by price. Now, I have to stretch. Some of these prices are going to fluctuate depending on what you're looking for. And they're limited quantities, so they will reproduce these engines after they sell. Um, so after a while, if you see an engine that you like and it, sell, it sells out, there's a chance that they'll reproduce it again. So they make these engines in very limited quantities, and then they reproduce them again or make something completely different. Um, but as you can see, some of these are really nice. And this one here <clears throat> is probably the closest to LGB, in my opinion. So here's the little 040 I was showcasing you guys earlier. This is just the individual engine, no tender. And here's some of their little larger switchers. So that's their entry level stuff. Now I'm gonna show you some of their more fancier locomotives. So here we have this guy here. This is their American style articulated logging locomotive. Very unique, very, um, Odd, but very cool at the same time. And then here we get into some of the more scale European style stuff. So here is their um, 080 steam uh, tender engine. Now I'll go to this page here real quick. And here is a nice detailed view of that engine. Absolutely beautiful. And you can see this is one of their more realistic offerings. Absolutely killer. And then here's another version of that same engine, but in black, like a more German-style uh, paint scheme. And then here is the 040 switcher I was showcasing you guys earlier with the tender. Here is that same engine, but as a 260 mogul. So very beautiful, as you can see. A lot larger than what I was showcasing you guys earlier, but with a larger tender. And this one has sound options. So while I'm on this screen, let me showcase that this... They make two rail and three rail style trains. So if you were to buy, if you're an American like myself and you want to get one of these trains from them directly, you would select three rail, AC power. Um, you could select the flange. So depending on if you want standard wheels or high wheels, um, you could select your couplers. So they have multiple coupler offerings here. So they have knuckle for us Americans here. Um, you have UK and Marklin. And then you could choose for sounds for an additional price if you were to do that. So very customizable trains as well. As you can see, they just got loads here. And then I want to showcase one more page here. So here's a very... Uh, popular locomotive that I think a lot of Europeans know about. This is a Terrier. This is a, one of the next engines I'm going to be purchasing myself. Just absolutely beautiful. And then here's something very unique that only they make. This thing is a beast. Just absolutely crazy looking. But that being said, guys, that's going to cover it for ETS. Um, they make some amazing models, as you can see here.
And it depends on the price. They, they will ship to the U.S., no problem. And they are all very beautiful. Um, so that being said, let's move on to the next manufacturer I want to showcase. Very all right, so here's the next manufacturer I would like to showcase with you guys today. Um, now, this isn't from them directly. Um, this is from a different store that happens to sell in the UK their products um, secondhand. But this is from the company called Ace, uh, Ace Trains of London. And they make um, any kind of British locomotive you could think of. Um, so they make LMS, um, Great, Great Western, um, LNER, and uh, GWR. Like, you name it, they probably have made it. Um, they make A4s, A3s, um, A1s, um, all the kinds of Pacific switchers, uh, Terriers, and... Uh, 14XXs and so forth. They make basically any kind of British locomotive you could think of. Um, so this is called the Station Master's Office. Um, this is a website that you can just Google and come. It will bring you right to here. And they will, even though it shows pounds and it shows different um, prices for the UK, they will convert it. They do accept PayPal and they will um, ship to the United States. Um, the only thing I got to tell you guys before I start showcasing these trains is um, they are AC compatible. They are going to be sold as DC three rail. Um, they are three rail equipped. They're all three rail or two rail. Um, but you can convert these with a adapter to make it an AC powered unit. So very simple to do that. Um, maybe in the future when I get one of these engines, I'll showcase the process of how to do that. But that being said, let me zoom in here and just showcase some of their offerings. So they make the all the different kind of um, LMS streamliners. We have some of the A4s. Here's an A3, an A3 Pacific in the NE wartime paint scheme, which is really cool. Just absolutely beautiful models. They're made out of tin as well. Um, they make here's the A4 Pacifics, aka the Mallard. If you're a Thomas and Friends fan or something like that, this is basically the prototype that Spencer is based off of. Um, some switchers. They also sell sets. So if you wanted to save some money and buy a set, they do offer that. And again, the prices do fluctuate and they depend. These are a little pricey models, but you know, nonetheless, they're absolutely beautiful. Um, if you're lucky, you could find a Flying Scotsman on here. So let me showcase you their next um, set of stuff here. So if I go to, and you can see they run on Atlas track. Atlas or any kind of three rail track you can think of here in the States. So if I go to uh, Wagons, which is freight cars here, they sell them in three packs for very reasonable prices. Um, beautiful stuff. They make wagons, they make cabooses, or brake vans, I should say, tanker cars, and then individually they sell uh, coal wagons and stuff like that. They look really cool. And then if I go down to train sets, they also have bargains, which is really nice. So if you go to their site here, you can see that they have trains for half off or, you know, below retail. I know some of the prices that you just saw are a little expensive. Mind you, these are gauge one. So these are larger locomotives. So if you're any live steam or G scale guy, then that's where you go. But then here's some of the three rail offerings. Once again, again, just absolutely wonderful, beautiful locomotives here. So there's the bargain section. And then the last thing I'll showcase is train sets. So these are all O-gauge sets that you can order for reasonable prices. So you can get an engine and two passenger cars or freight cars. 
as you see before you here. They have clockwork trains. Um, I'm going to go back to locomotives because I just want to showcase some more um, stuff. So here's more reasonably priced locomotives. For 250 quid, you can get this. Get this cool little guy here. In the beautiful NLNER black and red paint scheme. Just wonderful models all around. They, they really do make some cool... British stuff. Here's some more popular locomotive choices. Just really, really awesome stuff. Here's a city of Churro base locomotive. Just wonderful models. So that's pretty much going to wrap this up. I hope you found this video very informative. If you guys are interested in British railroading uh, here in the States, if you are looking for three rail offerings, these are the websites to go to. And um, yeah, I hope this helped you guys discover some new manufacturers out there. And uh, maybe get you guys inspired to want to start buying these kind of trains. So, that being said, I'm Matty C. I'll see you guys next time. And... Uh